Hey y'all, I am back. I am in my house, my home, and I am back from DC. Yes, I went to DC. I went to DC. I got on a plane and I went further away from Texas than I've ever been in my life. And everything went great. No problems with TSA, no turbulence. Um, nothing went wrong. So probably, you know, the next trip we take is something that's going to go wrong. I just had in my, my mind the Golden Girls scene where Dorothy is just terrified of being on a plane and, and Blanche is trying to console her and, and she says, here, take my hand. And she like squeezes the life out of her hand and then, then Blanche gives her some champagne hoping that it will calm her down and they start ta talking about their worst fears that they, you know, the, um, uh, anyway, I had that scene just stuck in my head and, and, I was terrified of getting on the plane, but nothing happened. We were all great, and um, it went great. The The kids and, and my husband went with me. We did uh, the family thing. We went to so many places. We um, we did we homeschool, and, and that was a, a big uh, part of it. We wanted our, see our kids to see American history right up you know, in front of their face. So we went to the memorials. We went to statues. We went to the, the Capitol tour. Uh, we had a tour of, of the Capitol. Um, and we we saw the White House. We saw Arlington Cemetery. I mean, we saw museums. There was just so much that we did as a family. And also, I was there for the Eagle Forum Council of 2017. Yes, look. I am an Eagle. Eagle Forum member. So, I am really excited about this. I had the time of my life. The Capitol Tour was actually um, through the Eagle Forum. So, what is the Eagle Forum? It is a, a pro-family movement started by the original anti-feminist Phyllis Schlafly. Not the original, but one of the the more known trailblazers in 1972 as um, a grassroots organization just started with a bunch of uh, conservative women housewives they did literature pamphlets and they lobbied you know their representatives to defeat the ERA the Equal Rights Amendment the feminist bill of the day and they were successful and they're still successful today in lobbying their representatives. There was a time set out in your in the conference to lobby your representatives and they had a debriefing uh, before that to give actual policy information to women. And you should have seen these women. They know exactly what they're talking about. They know exactly what policy is in place and they know exactly what policy they want to be in place. I heard so many speakers and took so many notes and there were so many handouts and I'm there was so much information. I'm really fascinated by women who live traditionally and conservatively and are Christian and they have a political mind. They know how they feel about politics and they care and they want to see change and they're not they don't shy away from politics. But these women they're taking it a step above. They are educating themselves on the ins and outs of these laws and policies and, 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 oh, it was just, and then I got to sit next to them at luncheons and dinners and you get to talk about each other and, and listen to each other and get to know each other and their families and it was just, the most incredible time I think I've ever had in my life. And I met so many wonderful people. I met uh, Phyllis Schlafly's daughter, Ann Corey, and that um, there will be, there was an interview, and there will be a standalone Phyllis Schlafly dedicated video coming soon. And I met Michelle Bachman. I met uh, Justice Clarence Thomas. And these people are, and they were so sweet. Uh, my husband and the kids, they didn't have a ticket to the Eagle Council, but when I told them how much he really liked Justice Clarence Thomas, 
they let him and the kids come and have dinner with us when he was speaking. So at one point, I'm sitting in this dinner, and all these patriots are surrounding me, and the, these just these families, and, and, and then I have my family here, and my youngest fell asleep because it was getting late in the evening, and I had him up against me on my chest, and I was holding him, and there was my husband and my other one, you know, next to me, and everybody is uh, concluding the night with singing God Bless America, and I have my family, and we're singing God Bless America, and I said, this is what it's all about, this is what everything is all about, and it was so emotional, and it was, and meeting these women were so, it was so emotional, um, you could see just how much they care about families and their country and, and God and uh, just policy. I mean, can I just reiterate again that they actually know what's going on and they stand up, they ask questions, they make statements, they, they are um, mind-blowing. I mean, to see grandmas up there saying this is what we need to get done this is what we need to get done and this is what we need to pass it and with the such vigor and fire and and just oh it was great and um and then i met uh just some wonderful ladies who who really had a lot to say about phil schlafly and and they're excited that maybe a new generation of 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 women of men who can take over this organization in the future and learn. I'm, I'm so excited to learn from these people and I'm so excited to be under their wing eagles. Yeah. Uh, one lady said uh, at the end of the conference that they're, they're boxing up the eagle pins and, and, and I said, you're boxing up the, the pins. She said, yes, I'm, I'm boxing up the pins. We're, we're done. The, and I said, do I have to get my back? And she said, no, I'm boxing up the pins, so do you want another one? And I said, oh, okay, because you are going to have to take this out of my cold, dead hands. I'm not giving this back. <laughs> I had so much fun, and I'm so excited to be learning from uh, these wonderful ladies. And I just, I'm still, I, w I, had, I was so exhausted from running around doing family stuff with the kids and, and my husband and then attending these these lectures and these talks and, and the dinners and the lunches, I ran from the metro station to our hotel, from to our hotel to where the conference was at after we got done with Arlington Cemetery and I didn't want to be late. So I've got my heels in my one hand, I've got um, I had ditched my flats, so they're in my purse, and I've got my purse, and I've got my heels, and I've got my um, my little folder with all my handouts, the Eagle Council folder, and I'm running so that I don't miss anything. And but I I got so much information, and I'm so um, I'm so excited for what the future holds for um, activism, and I couldn't be more happy. So. I hope y'all are doing well, and that Phyllis Schlafly video is coming next. See y'all.